is my ordinary Retron 5. It's a little bit dusty right now, but uh, it has been in a box most of the time. I know that this one is working. I bought this one. Mm, it's not the fastest one, but uh, I think uh, it will be compatible with this machine. Yes, and now I have pushed the micro SD card into this adapter for SD. So micro SD to SD. Um, the metal part on the micro SD isn't the same direction as the metal part on the SD. Since the system software on this machine is very old, uh, it's uh, less than 0.3. Uh, I have to update the system software and then the application software too. Here we have the Retron 5 uh, update instructions. Um, as you can see, uh, system software got to be 0.3 for higher. Uh, and mine is lower. So I have to do both steps. First this one with the system software update and then the application update instructions. Yeah, it seems like I was on the wrong page. Yeah, we have the Hypekin domain uh, uh, I couldn't download that uh, image so I will try this one instead Step one or two, upgrade your Retron 5 to system software. Yeah. 0.3.0. So upgrade your Retron. Uh, okay, system to software version 0.3.1. Okay. Okay. Uh, this would have been a lot easier if uh, it was possible to uh, connect the machine to internet. Hmm. Let's see, step one. Yeah. Here we have the update, yeah. Oh, it's uh, huge. 165 megabytes, okay. And then I have to copy this uh, file to the SD card root of the SD card mm. and uh, boot it up and then we see something like this My PC didn't like this uh, SD card, I have to push it a little bit. Uh, I also formatted it so uh, it uh, will be no corrupted files and stuff like that. And here we have the 
Retron uh, system update file. Uh, this is the first step. And now I only have to put this uh, SD card on the Retron file. And boot it up and see how it's working out. Always remember to eject uh, uh, memories like uh, this one, especially SD cards. SD cards, they are the worst uh, uh, memory cards you can have if you compare it to a USB memory and and uh, and the porto portable uh, hard disks uh, SD cards are the worst I have been struggling a lot with the uh, cheap SD cards and what I've learned buy good stuff you don't have to buy the uh, Fastest and latest and most important is uh, they are working. And now I eject this one. And as you can see, it's uh, losing the contact before I even tries to eject it. And now it tells me it's safe to put it away. Well. It seems to be some kind of problem between this computer and this adapter. Yeah. I don't know that the file is there. It was uh, transmitted when when it was stable, so it will, should not be any problem. Yes, and now I have put the SD card uh, in the SD card slot of uh, the restaurant file. And let's see what will happen. Yeah, it seems like uh, this uh, cheap uh, machine is uh, having a better SD card reader than on my ordinary PC. So don't be too hard. I know that people like to talk bad about uh, this. Uh, Cheap retron file. No, oh, it was a good idea to have this one plugged in. Yeah, I've not been thinking about all the things with this uh, machine, but it's possible to find the workarounds. You are a developer, you know how hard it is to um, getting stuff uh, working together.
I don't think it's a big deal if I have to use a controller like this one. It happens sometimes. And now it's uh, updating. Uh, system hardware and then I have to update the application too The update has completed, please power off the restaurant 5 to continue, okay? And it's auto booting. Now it's only hyperkin and not 2014 so it's updated okay nice let's see This will uh, probably not work since I have updated it. No. Maybe it's possible to pair it with a cable. And let's see. How it looks like. System information. Uh, system software uh, 0.3.0 so I have to update it one more time mm, uh, it recognized the SD card no problem uh, hardware revision version 1.0 So uh, I will check out the, uh, the steps for uh, completing this. Now I'm back at the Hyperkin Restaurant 5 homepage. Uh, I will do a second step of the first step. So I will download the, the second upgrade. Or a system software. Step two. Uh, uh, yes, uh, you must have installed system software version 0.3.0 before you may install the version 
Hot One update. And I have deleted uh, all the files on my computer uh, because this Retron system update is, is the same name also as before. Um, I just do it straightforward. Download this one. Yeah. And now it's downloading. This one is uh, 165 megabytes. Okay. And I will put this one on a formatted uh, SD card and boot it up on the Retron 5. Yes, and now I got the second update file on the SD card. Uh, I got to struggle a little bit, um, but um, now it's there. So now it's just to eject this uh, SD card and put it back into the machine. It seems like uh, the URL address is the same uh, for uh, for uh, these updates, system updates. Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, it uh, should be like this, or uh, if it's some kind of problem, because I uh, could see that the size of the file was exactly the same. So, why download it one more time? Uh, it, they could easily just write uh, run, run the update one more time, or something like that. Oh. Uh, I have to uh, test to do the other uh, application update instead and see how it's working out. I have to do it another way. I'll try to do a request file. It will uh, probably not been helping since they partially shut down a page. So, but, well, let's see. I wrote this on a blank SD card. I used this <coughs> old page, updated 2017, uh, February, and uh, I could uh, download the update. Maybe since uh, the request file I got is from uh, this uh, version 0.3.0. Uh, uh, so now I'm going to download this one to the SD card, transfer it to the SD card. And test it on uh, the machine and see if it's working. I did a false uh, format of uh, the SD card and I put the, uh, the update file that I downloaded with the re request file. And as you can see this one is a little bit smaller. It's about 5... Uh, dot 93 megabytes. Yeah. So I will use this one uh, on the machine and see if it's working. I put the SD card back. Um, let's turn it on. And see. I cross my fingers. Yeah, 
Yes, I want to install it. Okay. Progress. No, it will probably try to read this the code one more time. No. It uh, probably read it, but uh, it could see that it already got this update. And let's see how how it looks like. Hmm. Five application two dot five system software same and I can see that they, this last uh, update with a request file it updated the application from version two dot four to two dot five um, so. It's a little bit uh, of a progress. I will try to um, update the, the system software one more time. Put the system update uh, file back to the SD card. Let's see. So uh, this red profile got the latest uh, application and now I will try to do a system update one more time but with a new application. Okay, I have to push it a little bit. Yeah, it's the same. Oh uh, well, I think uh, I have to do some research on this. I did a little research, but I couldn't find any uh, working uh, update for the system software. I could see uh, a link to a file in US, but I couldn't download it. Uh, so I end up with uh, uh, this. Uh, setup of application version 2.5 and system software uh, version 0.3.0 um, I tried to use this card but uh, it didn't work I uh, know from earlier that it's hard to load this uh, cartridge and I could see uh, this uh, fast cartridge loading 
as a function I didn't have this one this function uh, earlier on this machine but I had it on the other one and and I experienced the same problem and I solved it with turning this one off I know that they have a patch for it but uh, I don't really care if it's uh, taking um, half second or a second uh, longer to, to load um, so let's try it Yeah, fail. Yeah. Well, it's time for some uh, isopropyl no alcohol. Also called the uh, IPA or isoprop. Um, I will use these tops. Um, clean the cartridge. See if it's working. Um, I did it for a couple of weeks ago, but it seems like this cartridge is in bad shape. This is strange. The tops got all dirty. Uh, I cleaned this uh, cartridge for uh, two weeks ago or something like that. And now it's all dirty. Also, uh, I cleaned the uh, the machine a little bit. Let's see if it's working. If it's working, something strange is happening with this game. Maybe it's a leaking battery or something like that. It's working. It seems like this uh, cartridge is in a bad shape, so I have to pick it up and see how it looks like. Yeah, but it's working for the moment. Bye bye. One last uh, thing, <clears throat> I have uh, almost no problem with the uh, Sega Mega Drive games and it's uh, probably because they have been in uh, boxes and, then, and away from dust and uh, uh, when I was playing uh, the the Link game, the Zelda Link game, it started to uh, get some disturbance. Um, probably because it's uh, it was losing the contact with the system, and then it was uh, thinking of uh, shutting down the game. Something like that, but as you can see, the this uh, Sega game is hang on ga super hang on game. It works, no problem at all. Well, here we have the second one again. This is not uh, the ordinary I used to have. Uh, this is uh, a defect 
I bought at Tradera and I got it to work. It was just some dust in the slots. And when I look at the version information, it's the same uh, application version and it's the same uh, software system software version and same hardware revision as the other one but the only difference right now is that this one is um, marked with uh, um, some French uh, distribution uh, number it's the only difference the other one uh, is probably bought uh, here in Sweden or uh, through China uh, uh, so they are exactly the same uh, I tried to uh, do the request thing and it's still the same uh, application it's the version 2.5 um, uh, so I, I think that uh, I can't do anything more right now it's, it seems like uh, Hyperkin uh, doesn't care. I know that it's possible to buy a new one with the system software um, code uh, 3.2 and some can also uh, uh, update to Dot one, but these machines they can't. Then I have to connect them to my PC, and I have to uh, flash them with the PC because it's not possible to do it right now with the SD card. I have to access the internal storage on it with a PC then I can change it to whatever yeah so this was the end right now but but it's but it's okay uh, it really doesn't matter it's not a big uh, difference um, most of problems it, it's it's problems with the uh, old dusty carts so I can't say uh, so much more uh, maybe it's uh, it's a little bit easy to work with a retro freak and ROMs you can also use ROMs on this one but yeah uh, then we have the the version problem. Uh, I don't want to do rollbacks on these ones now because it's maybe necessary. Yeah. So that's the end.